now we'll talk about digital pathology uh, and uh, what is it and what is the future of digital pathology uh, in histopathology uh, digital pathology stands for using uh, technology in order to speed up and enhance workflow in pathology laboratory uh, in practice this was, would mean that uh, advanced digital scanners are used to capture digital slide images and then uh, those whole slide images are used to report cases, uh, share the cases with others for second opinions and also for archival of the cases. Uh, what are the benefits of digital pathology? Why should we move on to digital pathology at all? Uh, we have good quality microscopes available and we have been using these for, uh, for decades uh, or I mean centuries uh, rather. So why should we shift on from uh, microscope to digital pathology? Uh, the foremost advantage of this digital pathology would be faster and more efficient workflow. Now uh, how would that happen? Uh, a lot of time goes into uh, slide sorting, case put up, slide archival, slide retrieval, especially in uh, uh, very big setups like uh, like ours at uh, National Reference Laboratory Rohini, wherein uh, we uh, we process about 3,000 plus slides and blocks every day. So, uh, sorting of all these 3000 plus slides every day uh, takes uh, a lot of manpower hour, uh, hours, uh, putting up these cases manually, archival of all these cases, retrieval of the cases if required uh, takes up one lot of time and of course, uh, archival and retrieval takes up lot of space also. So, this can be managed uh, by using digital pathology and uh, uh, much better if, uh, efficiencies can come up in the system if we use uh, digital pathology in place of uh, glass slides. Uh, multidisciplinary con consultation is uh, another uh, important uh, step wherein uh, efficiencies can come up in the system. Uh, so, uh, virtual tumor boards using digital slides uh, are, uh, are now being used at various uh, uh, various hospitals um, uh, in India as well as abroad and uh, this has really uh, made the workflow more efficient. Uh, external consultations, this is one of the bigger, biggest advantages of digital pathology. Uh, external consultation can happen in, in the shortest possible tat. We do not have to send uh, across the slides, class slides, which one uh, attracts the uh, disadvantage of loss of tissue or due to breakage of slides and uh, second, uh, the time in logistics. Both of these can be uh, shortened by using whole slide images or digital slides, which can be, uh, uh, can be sent across anywhere in the world uh, uh, through, through the links and uh, external consultation can be sought. Uh, we also utilize at uh, Dr. Lalpath labs uh, being, being a multi, uh, uh, multi location laboratory, we have multiple laboratories where uh, there are experts histopathologists. So, there may be a uh, expert GI pathologist sitting in Mumbai and uh, another expert uh, dermatopathologist sitting in Kolkata. So, if we want their opinions on our, uh, on our cases, uh, it can happen in real time using digital pathology. Uh, optimal utilization of services of histopathologists who are working out of peripheral location of the laboratories is another advantage that uh, we have uh, explored at Dr. Lalpath labs. We have histopathologists who are working at various locations where we do not have processing units of uh, histopathology, uh, but using digital pathology we are able to uh, utilize their services for reporting of histopathology cases. Uh, and of course, um, uh, logistics of uh, slides and blocks uh, which uh, uh, in, uh, in addition to uh, better efficiencies 
loss of these tissues which are very precious uh, can be saved using digital pathology. Uh, apart from these uh, benefits, uh, there are non which I would say uh, non technical benefits, there are lot of technical benefits also uh, which, uh, which I would say are benefits over, over the microscope. Uh, whole slide image uh, provides a bird's eye view of, of the whole tissue on a, gl on a glass slide. So, our microscopes have uh, I mean the lowest magnification available is 4x and sometimes uh, some of the microscopes may have 2x, but uh, if we want to view the whole image whole, whole tissue on a glass slide in one go. Uh, that bird's eye view is available using digital uh, slides or whole slide imaging, uh, wherein we can go uh, as low as 0.5x uh, or 1x. So, which gives us a good bird's eye view of the whole slide. Uh, it is easy to annotate and uh, do measurements which are uh, now important in various cases and uh, measurement of distance of tumor from the margin, size of the tumor and all these are now uh, necessary uh, mandatory requirements for, uh, for, malignan uh, for malignancies uh, as per CAP criteria. Uh, another advantage which is uh, I mean which I put, I put under technical benefit, but uh, it is more of a non-technical is that you can view the images anywhere, anytime. Uh, it is not limited by space. Uh, you do not have to be present in the laboratory to view the images. You can be uh, sitting anywhere and uh, view the images and report on those images. Uh, we already talked about live collaboration and consultations uh, in these cases. So, it is uh, it's e uh, easy to collaborate with a second pathologist uh, sitting anywhere in the world and uh, both of you can be viewing the same image, same cell and uh, of course, uh, have a consultation uh, and collaborative diagnosis of a case. Uh, at using artificial intelligence now software algorithms are available uh, for uh, uh, IHC cases, uh, especially for the ones where quantitation is required like ER, PR, HER2, KI67. So, these algorithms help us in accurately quantifying the, uh, the positive cells, the positivity of the cells. Uh, multi slide integrated viewing is uh, is another advantage which uh, I would rate very high against the microscope. So, uh, HE slide and IHC slide of the same case of same block can be viewed side by side and you can view, uh, you can actually check the positivity or negativity of an IHC staining on the same cell using uh, whole slide imaging softwares. Uh, archival and retrieval is instant, you do not have to, uh, you do not need uh, extra storage space, though of course, uh, uh, virtual space is required for the storage of these images also, but uh, physical space is not required and retrieval is very easy, on click of a button the, you can retrieve the uh, images of a case and it, it is uh, very easy to integrate these uh, images with a lab information system which can uh, which can help us in um, reporting the cases uh, and including the images of these cases in the reports. Uh, of course, there are certain challenges also, uh, otherwise uh, looking at the advantages, uh, all the microscopes in the world would have been replaced by, uh, by digital scanners by, uh, by this time. So, uh, the most foremost advantage or disadvantage or challenge that uh, we can face is technophobia. Now, uh, we pathologists, we have been trained on uh, microscopes and looking at the glass slides under a microscope and we somehow uh, just feel safe uh, 
due to our learning experience. Probably the newer generation of pathologists uh, who, who would from the beginning would be trained on these digital tools would feel uh, more comfortable using the, the digital tools. Uh, and of course, uh, with time, uh, the older generation pathologists will also have to tame, uh, will, will also have to change to adapt to the newer technologies. There are certain technological challenges like uh, hardware requirement, a uh, lot of data storage capacity is required, uh, good data transfer speed is required if we want to, uh, uh, to share the images for second opinions and integration of these images into the workflow uh, which can be managed uh, with the help of uh, good IT support. Uh, Standards and regulations uh, presently, uh, uh, like uh, I, I can talk about NABL. So, there is uh, NABL does not talk about reporting on digital images on digital slides. So, uh, certain modifications are required in standards and regulations also, so that uh, the adaptability is faster. Uh, not to forget about very high investment and implementation cost of acquiring the hardware of, uh, which are which are used for digital pathology. So, in nutshell, uh, digital pathology is a di disruptive technology as it changes the core of processes in pathology. Uh, it will enable better primary diagnosis, help pathologists easily access digital images from different sites and can create a platform for better multidisciplinary teams. Uh, it has a huge potential for education, uh, ed educating newer generation of pathologists. Uh, of course, there are challenges uh, including uh, standardizations and regulation of uh, digital pathology, uh, which is at present not at the point where it should be and patholo pathologists uh, still have certain problems in adopting this newer technology. Uh, we cannot ignore the fact that uh, these digital platforms are extremely expensive. Uh, all said and done, it seems uh, that adoption of digital pathology system uh, systems is an imminent process and uh, is the future of histopathology. Uh, at Dr. Lalpath Labs, where are we? We have already adopted this technology. It has been more than a year since we have been using it. Uh, we are using uh, Philips ultra fast scanner and uh, image management system for uh, digital pathology. Uh, extensive validation of these uh, of the system on uh, uh, different reporting pathologists has been performed following CAP guidelines. Uh, presently, uh, we are using uh, whole slide images for routine, routine reporting at our national reference laboratory. Uh, we are also validating uh, this uh, use of digital pathology images for uh, reporting of cases uh, at our report locations and uh, for reporting of uh, immunohistochemistry cases using AI based algorithms. Uh, for example, ER, PR, HER2, KI67, these are the ones which we are already uh, validating. So, um, that is it about digital pathology and as I said future is dig, uh, digital pathology uh, and uh, uh, it, is, uh, it, uh, it is imminent that uh, the microscopes in future maybe if, if not 5 years, 10 years from now be replaced by, by monitors on, uh, on the desk of histopathologists. All the best till then, thank you. Mm -hmm.